Today I am going to give you examples of how the part, part, whole strategy will help your learner solve addition and subtraction problems. Let's get started. Okay friends, so this is a part, part, whole mat. There are basically two boxes, two smaller boxes that make up the parts and, and when you put them together it creates the whole. So we're going to first take a look at addition and how learners can use the part part whole strategy in the mat to solve addition problems. When I introduce activities like this to my learners, I always start with a story problem. There are three red flowers in the garden. There are four purple flowers in the garden. How many flowers are in the garden in all? So what we would do is we would say three red flowers, that's one part. There are four purple flowers, that's the other part that we know. So three plus four equals seven flowers in all. For subtraction, using the part part whole mat is pretty much in reverse. We start with the whole, we separate the part that we know to find out the missing part. So for example, if we had the story problem, there are seven flowers in the garden. Three are red and the rest are purple. How many are purple? So we're basically trying to find that missing part. So we would start with seven, there are seven, that's the whole that we know. We said that three of them were red. How many are purple? The rest here are purple. That is the missing part. Learners can write it this way. They can either write it in a subtraction problem. Seven minus three equals a part that we did not know the unknown, which is four. Or it could actually be the missing add-in to an addition problem. Three plus blank equals seven. And we found out, of course, that three plus four equals seven. There you have it, guys. Examples of how your learner can use the part, part, whole strategy when solving addition and subtraction problems. The question of the day is, what part, part, whole activities do you do with your learner? Comment down below. I'd love to hear them. And if you thought this video was helpful, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!